what's going on guys today we're changing oil on the 2017 Chevy Silverado let's go so noob level 3000 I forgot to record the actual drain process I still have the factory filter the previous filter on it I do have to remove this but I definitely already drained the oil through the drain plug which was a 15 millimeter socket I definitely can't turn it by hand, so let's go get a wrench. So we use this concoction as an oil filter wrench. Pretty cool. First time I used that style. And uh, here goes nothing. Oof. Oil is warm as hell. Why is there so much oil coming out of my oil filter? Ooh, this oil's hot. Ooh, I spilled it. I'm in trouble. Doing his job, helping the motor with blow by. Got some nice black oil. I'll dip it out and see what it looks like um, in a little bit. While the truck drained, I went to the uh, local auto parts, picked up. I uh, actually took advantage of the AutoZone, actually Advanced Auto Parts special for a five quart, pretty much a gallon, and a filter for $30. I did that twice. I got two of them because the truck is an eight quart. Uh, take so now I have an extra two quarts and I have an extra oil filter for future if necessary and that still put me around $65 whereas a local shop the local Jiffy Lube around here want to charge me $120 to do the oil change of my vehicle so about a $60 savings and about an hour of my time I love it let's go put the oil in today we're using Castrol it's fully synthetic 0w20 because that's what's used on our 5.3s so ironically, the new oil catch can kind of gets in the way of the oil funnel. So just be careful with that and align it best you can. So the oil's all in. Um, the truck takes eight quarts. Each one of these gallons is five quarts. So you use this unit of measure here. And you're probably not going to see it on the camera, but you have a unit of measure. And then I pretty much went down to leaving this with two. Because subtract three more that I would have needed to hit the eight. Leaves this bad boy with two left. So it's important after you install the filter and the plug that you just go with some shop towels, wipe all the area around. You want to make sure it's nice and dry and clean. That way, once you start the vehicle, you can make sure there's no leaks when you put the oil back in. The final step is to get rid of that pesky change oil soon. So dismiss it. Come down to change the oil. Hold the check button down on your steering wheel. And voila, 100% oil life remaining. Let's go.